All right, so I believe you have an idea of how these tools, they work right now. The 11 tools I talked about or 12 tools I talked about, you can actually use them in image retouching or um, image addicting, which are two different things. And now I'm going to show you how to work with you no know, skins, different type of skin. We have this one, we have this, which is a very familiar photo you've seen everywhere. And I'm going to tell you why I chose this image. Okay, so we have this one and we have this one, which is a light skin. And all these, uh, I'm going to use this one, start with this one first, which is a black skin. Now, those tools I showed you, you can use them in working on texture and use them in working on um, your tone or the color. But since you are doing frequency separation, that's what we are going to be doing, frequency separation. And this is a way of you no know, working, the mostly, the mostly used method in working on textures and color. That is one of the important and um, a, a technique you can do without when doing retouching, okay? So I'm going to talk about this technique, but before that, frequency separation has to do with separating to the texture and the color. And now you have two different tools you are going to actually use when doing this, you know, addicting. But since we are separating the color and the texture, I want to tell you, focus more on the color. The color aspect has to do with color correction or tone correction, meaning you have to correct the way the skin color looks like. For example, look at this image. We have different skin variation and that is how the human skin work. We have different skin colors in one skin. You can take a look at this side. We have some yellow rich skin and all this place we have uh, our makeup. We also have some dark and some black skin. Although you know it's a very, uh, that's the way human skin behave. That's the way human skin are. But one thing you need to know is you can't just use one technique to you know edit this skin color you can just go ahead and bounce on frequency separation and start doing frequency separation of which i'm going to talk about later on in the video you have to do some color correction let's take a look at this other image now this other image has the same um, color except for the top part of her eyes and you can see that her ends has the real color you can see her ends having the real color, the, the fine color compared to her face. So if you want to do color correction, you need to make the color of her face or the tone of her face to look like that of the ant. And then you are going to blend and start working on the um, texture. So that's one thing to also note. You need to know the fine color of the skin and the one that is going to best fit the skin. Let's look at the next one, which is this one. Now, what do you think the color of her body looks like? Uh, you can also see some dark parts over here which we need to correct and we all know that our face is um, make there's there's makeup on our face so we can actually choose there we can choose somewhere here on our body so that's how to know where to do the color correction you, you don't just do frequency separation so let's look at the next one now this one it's a little bit different now uh we have rough skin and we have um different color as well so let me zoom in you can see on our cheek here it's looking red and the perfect place to choose is somewhere around the nose which i would like to make all the skin color look like this part of our nose or if you don't want to choose there you can choose this part of our body which is the perfect place or this part of our body so the best place to look at is the down part of our nose and also beside our eyes so somewhere around here or here and it's very easy in capture one if you want to do um, color correction so it's actually easy so let's start with this one now i'm going to start with this image in doing the color correction now group all these together so just please follow along why i want to do color correction is because it's the first step i usually do before doing uh working on texture and the rest or doing frequency separation if you have actually heard of the name now come back to your layer Rasterize it if it's not rasterized so you can work on it. I'm going to duplicate Ctrl J so we know, okay, there's no need. Let's not undo that. Now, for you to do color correction, let's look at the tools in you can use in doing color correction. There are um, many tools you can use. So under the adjustment layer, we have the selective color, which is one. We have the uh, color balance, which is two. We have the hue and saturation, which is three. We also have the curve which is four, we have the gradient, which is five. So we have five tools in doing color correction. Any of these two, we actually work. 
also sometimes i do use solid color but not most of the time but i like this five the gradient the curve the hue and saturation color balance and selective color so sometimes instead of using this gradient i use gradient map so these two works the same and sometimes i use the channel mixer most times not all the times so just those five that i use and i'm going to talk about the hue and saturation in doing color correction so guys please these are the five important um adjustments in doing color correction just note that down so that the next video is actually going to be easy for you to follow up so i'm going to edit many of these images too so that you know how to work with different skin tones and I've, i'm also going to make more examples on color correction on different uh images as well so as you to get the overall um the overall um knowledge